I got a Miss Beachy shaft here. <laughs> Dude, how do I even pronounce it? Mitsubishi. And I don't know much about clubs. I just listen to the fitter. It's like your QR code. Brand new clubs, as you guys have seen in the fitting, we kind of did a little bit of an overview in that video of everyone getting fitted for their clubs. I have to be completely transparent, I don't know a ton about golf clubs, but I will talk about feel because I'm a feel golfer and I'll explain why these clubs feel different to me and why I feel like they're gonna help my golf game. And I'm gonna start with my favorite club in the bag, the 58 degree. It is the Jaws Raw, the Z Grind, eight degrees of bounce and the 58 uh, the 58 degree. So this is my favorite club in the bag just because I feel like I can work it around the greens. I specifically got the Z grind at eight degrees of bounce because when I open this club up, it doesn't grab as much. I don't know if you guys can tell the difference right here. It feels more rounded on the bottom than what I'm typically used to. And so for example, if you guys are hitting a chip into the grain and you don't want your club to grab, you can open this up and it kind of slides right through the ground. My 58 degrees, my favorite club. I want to have a club that's very versatile around the greens, but also coming into the greens, say from like 60 to 90 yards. So as of now, I've loved this wedge. I've been, been able to hit it a lot. And uh, in our challenges, I seem to have a lot of feel with this club. I'm gonna hit a couple pitch shots and then get to the next club. Also, I feel like I can spin this wedge a lot, or I can like take spin off it. So when I was talking to the guy getting fitted, I was just like, my biggest thing is I just want a wedge that's versatile. It can kind of do everything. That's why this is my favorite club in the bag. I just feel like I can hit it anywhere from inside of 100 yards and kind of control it. That is my wedge. Shaft is the Dynamic Gold S400. For my other two wedges, I have a little something different and my 54 degree. A little bit less rounded here on the 54 degree. Not as big of a sole, it looks like, at least to the eye. Again, I'm a field golfer, so I might not know what I'm talking about, but I just kind of know what I see and what I feel. 10 degrees of bounce, 54 degree. S grind, it's the Jaws Raw as well. I typically don't use a 54 around the greens much. It's typically either a pitching wedge, 50 degree or 58. 58 obviously being the primary club that I would use around the greens, but if I have a bump and run, probably pitching wedge. If I have like a medium amount of green to work with, it's probably 50 degree. So 54, I typically just base off of what does it feel like with a full swing or say like a 85% swing. And again, I feel like I have a lot of control over this wedge with the full swings, which I really like. Like the sound, it feels like super soft off the face. It feels super soft. My third and final wedge, other than my pitching wedge, is an S grind as well. 10 degrees bounce, 50 degrees. So it's essentially this wedge right here, but in a 50 degree. So 54 and 50 are the same. The only difference is my 58. Sometimes we use a 50 degree around the greens, but most of the time I judge this based off full swings and again, Feels really good. This is normally like 125, 130 club. So Dynamic Gold S400. Also, the 54 degree is around 120, 115. 58 degree, full swing around 90 to 100. I think I'll probably do a separate video on extras showing you guys exactly how far I hit every club. I'll just do like a in-depth through the bag every single club. Today is more about showing you what I have in my bags. Now five iron through pitching wedge for you guys. I'm gonna show you the five iron, and I'm gonna show you the pitching wedge, and everything in between is the same. First, I'll start with pitching wedge. Not 100% sure how many degrees aloft this is. I think standard pitching wedge is around 47, 48, 46, somewhere in there, so. With my irons, typically like in the past I've used blades, but I was getting fitted, and I tried out their blades, and yeah, like I was hitting them good, but I noticed my, my divots were a little bit deeper. And so what I did was I tried the TCB Forged, the Apex Callaway. And when I put that in my hands, I felt like it was more of a naturally shallow divot. Felt like it, it cut through the ground a little bit better for me. I felt like there was a little bit more forgiveness. And then I talked to the guy. He was saying that most of the tour pros also use this just for that reason. I feel like I'm able to work, say, a longer iron like a five iron. I feel like I can hit it high, I can hit it low, 
and I feel like I can still land it soft. And then for the pitching wedge, I feel like it launched a little bit lower, also landing soft. Felt like just more of a penetrating ball flight. So I could, again, control it a little bit more. So that's why I went with these. Six, seven, eight, and nine iron are the same exact club as this. Obviously just in different lofts. This is the Dynamic Gold X100 tour issue shaft, so. Take a little look at that. It's the five iron there. When I got to the four iron, I realized that I kind of needed something, again, that's super versatile. I could get hit low or almost use it like a driving iron, or I could hit it really high and use it coming into greens. And my fitter that day kind of told me that this is the best option for that. And when I hit it, I, I completely agreed. I felt like I could hit high, I felt like I could hit low. I felt like I could take spin off of it or add spin to it. So again, just like versatile. This is the X-Forge UT, and that's 22 degrees. So again, I can use it like a driving iron, but I can also use it coming into greens, which I really like. So that's that's kind of my four iron. Again, Dynamic Gold X100. For my hybrid, I have it at 19 degrees. And for my hybrid, I have the Apex UW. Something that I noticed that's a little bit different about this one is the way it's kind of rounded like this. I feel like I can chop this one through the rough if I need to. So if I have a bad lie, I feel more comfortable with this hybrid than I have with hybrids in the past. So, loved hitting this one on the range. Again, pretty good fairway finder club. Ventus, 8X, Fujikura shaft. I'm gonna hit one for you guys here. There we go, that's more of the fairway finder swing. 257 carry, 273 total. I feel like that's kind of how I'd swing it off the tee. For a hybrid, I feel like I can spin it, control it, land it soft coming into green with that specific hybrid, but also hit it far off the tee like you saw with that first swing. Won about 280 yards with roll. So, second to last club here, we have the Triple Diamond Paradigm, the brand new Paradigms that just came out from Callaway. I have this set at 15 degrees, they're three wood, and with the shaft, Mitsubishi, uh, I got a Mitsubishi shaft here. <laughs> Dude, how do I even pronounce it? Mitsubishi. Mits Wait, you say it for the camera. Mitsubishi. What is it? Mitsubishi. What he said. Again, I don't know much about clubs. I just listened to the fitter, and I'm sorry for that, guys. I just genuinely don't know. I mean, you guys can take a look. Sorry for not being very educated with golf clubs. Because I'm able to hit this hybrid pretty far, also able to take some off of it and hit it pretty short, typically, if I'm gonna use this three wood, it's most of the time only gonna be off the tee. Unless I have 300 into a par five and I need to just absolutely kill it. Yeah, 270. Again, that's more of an off the tee club, 290 total. Man, I love the way that feels. That's a rocket, that is a rocket. Last but definitely not least, one of my favorite in the bag, the Paradigm, forged carbon, jailbreak AI, set to straight, not fade or draw, nine degrees of loft, neutral SI. That's how I said One of my favorite clubs in the bag. <laughs> Honestly, I don't really know much about golf clubs as you guys know, but I do know that this thing flies far and straight, and I do really like this driver. Each Paradigm driver has a different design on the bottom. It's like your QR code. It's like a thumbprint. Like everyone who gets a Paradigm driver has a different club head. Yeah, and, and when it gets sunny outside, you can maybe see it with that light. When it gets sunny outside, you can really tell it kind of comes out. With the shaft, we got the Ventus 6X Fujikura. I'm gonna hit a shot for you guys. And for golf balls, I use the Triple Track Chrome Soft X. When I hit that off the toe, I hit that right here. I wanna show you guys this. I, I hit that right there. 117 club speed. Still 174 ball speed with a pretty poor strike, and it went fairly straight. 297 carry, 311 total, 1.5 smash factor. That, to me, is the most important number there. For the pro golfers, they're the reason the reason they're better than everyone else is it's how good their misses are. So when I'm getting fitted, I want to see how good a miss is, not how good my good shots are, because no one cares about that. They, you want to see, <laughs> I mean, honestly, they say like every pro golfer has two to three perfect golf shots or nearly perfect golf shots in a round of golf. Every shot is just a little bit off. So for me, gauging that is really important. It's a little bit off, a little bit on the toe. It still went 311 yards, so I love to see that. There you go, guys. That's my what's in the bag. Subscribe to Good Good Extra for a lot more content. Educational content in the game of golf, instructional content in the game of golf, random vlogs, random videos. It's, it's basically just anything we randomly feel like filming for you guys. So, I don't know. I, I like this channel a lot, and hope you guys do as well. And I hope you guys enjoyed this What's in the Bag. Stay tuned for more content. Until next time, guys. Peace.